Hi everyone, Inspired Easy welcome you to another impactful week. On this series, we'll be focusing on the three vital keys that will help you to be successful in life. On video one, we'll be talking about wisdom. On video two, we'll be talking about discipline. On video three, we'll be talking about diligence. In the world of success, information is the greatest asset. Success is not a destination, but an adventure which is accessible to all who search for it. We will be walking you through step by step, and by the end of this series, you will be equipped and ready to be successful. Let's get started. The journey to the land of success is a covenant walk. God has his way, a consistent and compliance with God's will will take you to your dream land of success. Praise God. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 is God's formula for success. It said, I read, Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Yeah, God is saying that there are things you must do if you want to make your way prosperous. It is not what God will do for you, but what He is asking you to do in order for Him to establish your desire. Hallelujah. Success is a covenant. No one can stop a covenant man, a covenant woman, or a covenant child to be successful. All he or she needs to do is to know the covenant details and to comply with them. A covenant person is superior to anyone. Nothing can stop the covenant person from prevailing or succeeding. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 25 to 26, it says, I read, this is what the Lord says, if I have not made my covenant with day and night and establish the law of heaven and earth. Then I will reject the descendants of Jacob and David, my servant. I will not choose one of his sons to rule over the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For I will restore their fortunes and have compassion on them. Here the Holy Spirit introduced us to a certain covenant secret about success our inheritance in God, our position in Christ, His plan and His purpose for our lives and our outstanding destiny with Him. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 8, He says, I read, Whoever digs a pit may fall into it. Whoever breaks through a wall may be beaten by a snake. Yeah, God is saying that there is a covenant if you break that covenant then you will expose yourself to wickedness of the devil. God's covenant of success goes with three vital keys, which we'll be talking about. They are wisdom, discipline, and diligence. With these three forces working in your life, you are sure to be successful. In this video, We'll be talking about wisdom, which is our video one, and we'll be focusing on three kinds of wisdom. Number one, wisdom for direction. Number two, wisdom for the use of your mouth. Number three, 
working knowledge of wisdom. Wisdom is the baseline for a successful life. As it is the principal thing, I believe that the quality of wisdom at work in any business determine the quality of result that will be achieved. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 7, it says, I read, The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. Though it costs all you have, get understanding. Yeah, God is saying that the quality of wisdom applied determine the quality of result expected. Success in life, success in business, success in your marriage, success in your family, success in your education is a function of wisdom. The wisdom available and the wisdom you apply guarantee the success you will achieve. Wisdom is what makes you shine in everything you do. Hallelujah. The Bible said in the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 3, it says, I read, Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heaven, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Yeah, God is saying that that business in your hand can become a multi-billion business when you encounter the kind of success we are talking about. Amen. You can match a superstar in your profession and your career. You need wisdom for direction, the use of your mouth, and a working knowledge to achieve that great result we are talking about. Amen. As earlier mentioned, number one, wisdom for direction. Every increase is a function of wisdom. If you don't know what to do with 50 euros, 50 dollars, or 50 pounds, how will you ever increase to 500 euros, 500 dollars, or 500 pounds? The ability to see ahead and plan for the future is what you need to succeed in life. Praise God. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 13 to 14, it says, I read, Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding, for she is more profitable than slaver and yen better result than gold. Yeah, God is saying that wisdom generates riches, which is one of the keys for measuring success. It is the controlling factor for success in every area of your life and my life. Wisdom is better than strength. It takes away all the struggles and depressions from your life and also my life. Wisdom is one of the keys all of us need in life. It brings you and I to the place of honor. Amen. Everyone is born for a purpose. The Bible said in the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11, it says, I read, For I know the plan I have for you, declares the Lord, plan to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Yeah, God is saying that your life will take a new shape when you locate and identify with God's plan for your life and my life. You are at your best at that thing which God has prepared for you your discovery of how to apply wisdom, identifying with it, it all it takes to lay hold on astounding success in your life and my life. Praise God. Number two, wisdom for the use of your mouth. For you to walk in wisdom, to get success, you need to mind what you say with your mouth. The Bible said in the book of Matthew, 
chapter 12, verse 37, it says, I read, For by your words you will be acquitted, by your words you will be condemned. Yeah, God is saying that the way some people talk, no matter how hard they work, they cannot succeed because they sow seed of failure with their mouth. Brethren and sisters, I will encourage each and every one of us to start saying positive things with our mouth. As we are saying it, God is going to prosper us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible said in the book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 23, it says, I read, Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believe that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Yeah, God is saying that we should mind what we say with our mouth because whatever we say with our mouth will always come to pass. Do always say positive things with your mouth. Praise God. Let's see how the words of our mouth will bring us success. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 14, for the fruit of their lips, people are filled with good things, and the work of their hands bring them reward. Yeah, God is saying that wisdom demands that you learn how to speak correctly. Otherwise, you will walk and never see results. My prayer is that each one of us we start speaking positively so that we can be able to start seeing results in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, walking knowledge of wisdom. In the world of success, information is the greatest asset. There are people in various business today who do not know anything about their businesses except for personal ideas, some of which are very weak. When God gave the formula for success, he tied it up to information. He says, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, which we said earlier, is God's formula for success. That is what God said. He said, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, my mouth. Every successful person in the world today encounter one information or the other that brought about his or her success. And our prayer for you today, my prayer, is that you encounter that success which you have been looking for. That your heart desire which you have been looking for and God is going to provide it to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. To be a resounding success on earth, you need a working knowledge of your assignment. If you are in business, try to have a working knowledge of that business so that you will not encounter any problem. And I see you going through a new dimension, a new divine impartation in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I see God opening that doors for you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible said in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 15. It says, I read, The toll of the fool wearies them. They do not know the way to town. Yeah, God is saying that the man does not have a working knowledge of his job. So he has a problem. To be a resounding success, you need to know what to obtain. What makes it to work and apply yourself to them. Amen. 
brothers and sisters, I see God taking you to that land of success, to that dreamland, to that place you want to be. And God is going to do it for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every candidate in an exam has an idea, but only those that have facts scale true. You do not pass exam with idea, but with facts. Likewise, you need facts about whatever you are doing to succeed. We need to start applying facts. You have an idea, but you need facts. You need a business case to be able to make it work. Praise God. If you do not know the answer to any question in an examination, even if you are given 10 hours to write it, you will never finish the exam. And I see God helping you to get through every step in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. But when you have the facts, you can even finish even before the time. We just need to start having a clear plan, a clear milestone, a clear what we want to achieve. What facts do is to give you the right answer. If you locate the facts of life, you will fly higher. So apply yourself to locating those facts, then put them to work in your life. That's all it takes to be successful. Brothers and sisters, only lazy men believe in luck. Men of words believe in facts that are made for success. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3 to 4, it says, I read, by wisdom a house is built, and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with ray and beautiful treasures. Yeah, God is saying that any enterprise built by wise planning becomes strong through common sense and profit wonderfully by keeping all the relevant principles. God wants us to start keeping all the relevant principles. Let's start doing the right thing, having a good planning. Anyone who did not plan well, you are bound to fail. Facts are what makes one profit wonderfully. And I see God helping you to set up all these facts, all this planning that will take you to that dreamland of success in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I hope the tips shared in this video provide value to you. In our next video in the series, We'll be talking about discipline which is part of the three vital keys that will help you to be successful in life stay tuned thank you for watching stay connected with us on facebook youtube instagram and twitter let us know where you are watching from leave a comment below like our videos share our videos subscribe Please do not forget to hit the notification button. You can also connect with us on our website. Thank you and God bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen.